Hi everybody, it's Doug here, and I've got you another episode of our Euro Truck Simulator 30 miles per hour challenge. So today's trip is going to take us from Southampton into the Channel Islands to Trinity in Jersey. Uh, we're going to be starting our journey at Vincent Timber Yard, and we're going to be hauling 17 tonnes of lumber across the channel to Argonaud in Jersey. Total distance is 200 miles, but there's only 68 miles of this journey that we're driving. The rest is on the ferry. So our first port of call is going to be the naval city of Portsmouth. When we get there, we're going to board the ferry and we're going to travel the 132 miles to St. Hillier. Once we've departed the ferry, we're going to travel the remaining miles down the narrow roads to Argonaud, which I'm going to guess is a farm. Going to drop the trailer off and then we're going to take our payment of £1,432. Get ready to turn left. So, where have I been? So, I know it's been a while since I last did any turn videos left. and I decided to take a break. I was feeling a bit run down. I wanted to spend some time with my family. I was still doing bits on multiplayer and did a few live streams with a couple of the guys that I know. But my art wasn't in it to record any videos and give any content out and I really was deciding whether to give up and delete the channel and pack in doing any videos for YouTube altogether. I just didn't know which direction I wanted to go in. Therefore, I had a little downtime. I threw Get myself into the job. Right. I think it was around Christmas time. Turn right. That I decided that I was going to continue. I was also waiting as well to have an operation. I'd cancelled it twice. They were to remove some polyps in my nose. It was going to help to aid with my breathing and my speaking. I was going to speak more clearly. Um, I sounded like I was really, really nasally. And I was talking through my nose. But this was done at the beginning of January. I'm feeling feeling a lot better for it. I can actually smell things now, whereas before all my sense of smell were blocked and I was constantly sneezing and my nose was running. It was just it just weren't a nice thing to have. It was really, really nasty. You know, some people can sneeze two or three times, but I was sneezing like eight, nine, ten, eleven times and when I'm out driving and I'm having a sneezing fit, it's not good. But I've had it done. I feel better. I feel good in myself. I'm happy I've had it done. But it's the second time that I've had it done. I decided that if they come back again, then I'm not gonna have it done again. Cause Get ready it's to turn left. weakening the lining of my nostrils inside and they're making them thinner. So that's Turn left. what's going to happen with that. But I don't know whether I explained as well previously that in 2019 that all my hours at work but I went from doing 40 hours they were cut down to 14 hours. As time's gone on business has picked up again and I've been getting more and more hours. I'm now back to virtually what I was doing before. You know, it's down to people leaving, getting other jobs. So I'm gonna continue doing my videos. Um, I'm gonna have to ease back on my playlist a little bit because, as you know, I do Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, and FSX. But I'm Keep gonna right, and then continue give straight the on. FSX a bit of a wide berth because it actually takes Go straight ages on. to record the videos because I'm only flying a small general aircraft and some of the flights are like 200 and odd miles it can take about three and a half, four hours and that's time I don't have anymore through the day so I'm gonna give it a bit of a miss I'm gonna still keep doing some at weekends I'm flying offline uh, who knows, maybe it'll come back, maybe it won't maybe it might be once a month you know, but by the time I'd done the video, I'd edited the video, done the thumbnails, 
and everything else it could take up to 10 11 hours but and it's a it's a lot of time just to concentrate on one video but like I say I might continue with them someday but if I get one out one a month then that's fine so it's just going to go on the back burner I'm still going to continue with my Euro truck and my American truck I'm going to try and get at least a video out of one of them every week I can't commit too much time to it now because I just really don't have it I'm not a full time YouTuber I'm not a no, I'm not on my PC constant um, I don't have the resources or anything like that to keep upgrading with new parts and new or new new setups and everything. I'm only a small channel and I still have to continue with the daily grind of work. But like I say I've got a few mates and they do live streams doing Euro truck and uh, just give them a check out. I've got Ray Sim, I've got Martin Whitby 1975, and I've got ET Gaming. I'll leave links in the description below. Well, you can go and give them a check out. They do good stuff. They do farming and everything, uh, and they're, they're good lads to be around. Good laugh. I'm just saying that at this moment. It, I know we're on in uh, January. Um, Keep left. I've had this break. And to be honest, my art is still not fully into it. I just can't put on, just can't put a finger on the reason why. It's just something that's missing. I've got content there. Exit left. That I've recorded. Just needs editing and finishing, and finding time to do it is hard. Uh, it's not easy when you've got a child in secondary school and your missus has a disability or holding down a job being a good husband and being a good father it all takes its time I don't Turn right. come on the computer as often as I used to but I have to put my priorities first and I'm just going to hope that you're going to welcome our new addition to our family as well um, we got him in November 2019. I did put a video of a eulogy for my dog Debo on my YouTube channel uh, when he passed away in 2018. And it took a long while to get over his death. As we had him from being eight weeks old, he was a Grindle staff until he were 13 and I didn't I didn't want to get another pet we've not had another baby I'm, I'm a bit too old for that but like I say I didn't want to get another pet because Ebo was he was unique as it is with any pet but my missus kept telling me there's something missing out of our lives, there's something missing in our lives, there's something missing. She was constantly going on about it and she was unhappy because she had a big void in her life and she didn't have a lot of motivation, you know. He, he couldn't be forgotten and we have his ashes on a shelf in the bedroom Get and ready to his cords there so what turn she'd left. been doing is uh, she'd been secretly looking on puppy sites and she was looking for six months six to eight months 
they wanted the right one and I knew what she was looking at the sort of breed she was looking at um, and I needed to be right in myself as well because even though we've had a pet in the house for 13 years I'm not a pet person when they're here they're here I'm fine and done I'm fine with them but if it wasn't for my daughter and the wife and I lived on my own I wouldn't have a pet that's just that's just down to me but I like to keep uh, keep the peace so around September of last year I decided that it was time that yeah we we needed to move on and even I knew that there was something missing out there but, and Deej was a big part and he still is a big part of my life I'll never forget him I've got his pictures on my PC um, and, and you He'll never be forgotten. So what we did is she showed me these Keep pictures left. of this litter of puppies that had been born, and they were ready to take away. There was eight weeks old. At the roundabout, take the third had the exit. First lot of injection. They were microchips, and they were at the right price. So what we did on the 19th of November is we took a trip to Winsford in Cheshire to this guy's house nice guy he had family pets of his own uh, and he showed us this letter of puppies exit now uh, these two hours and there were, it was a litter of three now one of them had already been sold the night before so there's two left and it was a boisterous one he was dark like a brownish fur and there were, there were a chilled out one a cream one both male get ready to turn left so I just all I did was draw her down I were the money man went down she had the final say she had a player with them she was going to take the dark one Turn left. because he was more friendly, more in your face and then right at the last minute changed her mind took the cream one uh, cream on white I call him Otter because he's got a stripe on his head like a lightning mark over the top of his eye tie So the journey on the way home. Uh, it was a bit of a silent one. There weren't a lot of talking. The pup was scared, as you would be, because taking him away from his Reboot. parents. We had a, a blanket wrapped around him snuggled into her arms and slept all the way home but the missus was crying because she was so happy and there were tears of joy and then we had to introduce and we had to introduce him to our daughter Jade. Um, now, Jade and Debo had been brought up together. We got him when she was a baby. So they were best best friends. The the closest bond you could ever have. So it was a big big wrench for her when he died as well 
So what we did with Jade is we told her she had to come home from school on her own. Now she's she's 14, so she's old enough to come home from school on her own. I know we're going to pick her up. But we told her on this day that she had to come home on her own. Rerouting. Uh, the previous weekend, Turn left. she'd just been and done her panel grading in a mixed martial arts. And it was a three hour grading. Again, there's a couple of videos of her uh, doing Get ready to turn exhibition left. when she first started out on a martial arts journey. Turn and left. she's now a red belt, which is two belts below a white belt. So she stuck with it. So he was like a surprise gift for her for passing a grading and also a Christmas present for her. So what we did is we we searched a poem. Keep right, and then turn pennies right. from heaven. And it's um, what it is. Turn it's right. A dog that's passed away, and he's gone over Rainbow Bridge, and he's given it the okay to go ahead and move on with the lives and get another another pet and show the love that he was shown so we made her read this poem out and what we did then is we wrote a card out from the new dog and it was emotional it really was Because she wasn't expecting it. And she didn't know that he was there. Because we'd kept him upstairs. Oh, At the roundabout, take the first exit. Of the poem, he was in tears. Exit now. And the first time she heard his little cry, when he was coming downstairs. It was emotional, really, really emotional. The first time she took him into her arms, you could see there was a instant of get ready to turn left. Or well, what we did then is we gave her asked to find him a name. Turn left. Now as you know Chihuahua was a Mexican. Oh he's decided to call him Chico. So we welcomed him into our lives and now in the house there's smiles and there's laughter and there's joy and there's fun. And he's progressing so well and it really turns out that He's the boisterous one. He's the one that's a bit naughty and a bit in your face. I think he suffers with small dog syndrome. <laughs> so that big hole, that it's big all gap, void that was missing has been filled. And there's nothing better in my life to see my missus, my daughter smiling and laughing and enjoying life again because for 18 months it just seemed like there was a big cloud that had descended over the pair of them so there you go that's a breakdown, that's what's happened over the last few months there's probably a lot more, but I don't really have. <laughs> I'm not that good at putting things down that are on my mind.
and I know that even though I've not been putting any content out apart from a few silent videos which I did over Christmas um, I know a lot of you could have just said ah you know he's doing nothing he's just taking us through a ride and you could have un unsubscribed from the channel but I just want to give you all the biggest thank you and all a great big massive imaginary hug for sticking around so let's move onwards and upwards from now on and let's make 2020 a good year and let's get grinding to 200 subs don't forget hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification for any further publications and give me a thumbs up it gives YouTube a little bit of a hint into what's good and what's not so thanks for tuning in watching this enjoy the rest of the video So that's the end of the drive. Uh, I want to thank you all for staying right to the very end. I'll just give you a quick reminder that if you like what you've seen, hit that bell notification, hit the subscribe button, and give me a thumbs up. It helps my little channel out. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Happy trucking!